up your tall as softly as the light as you would split the one as the screeching tall. You are not speaking the truth. Not speaking the truth, is it? Would you have me knock the head here with the butt of the broom? Don't strike me. Just a little time. Don't forget you must run him with the broom. Okay? Oh, here's TV. Eddie Fitzpatrick is the chairman of Sligo Drama Circle. Well, how is drama in Sligo? Well, it's very active at present because uh, we're very fortunate to have acquired a, a premises in the Market Yard where we hope to put on workshop theatre, experimental theatre, and it'll be very helpful too for um, new playwrights because we would, we would be prepared to, uh, to perform their plays. Is there a tradition of amateur drama in Sligo? Oh, there's a very great tradition uh, of amateur drama in Sligo, going back into the 1900s and the late 1890s. There's always been amateur drama here in Sligo. And because of Yeats himself, do you put on any plays by Yeats? Well, during the Yeats summer school, uh, we perform a number of plays for the students. Yes, they're very well received as well. I know you're a Sligo man, but because you've been out of the country now, you have been out of the country for quite a while in Australia. Yes, I was in Australia for seven years. I went out in 1950 and came home in 57. It's like my golf score, out in 50, back in 57. Yes. Uh, I enjoyed it out there. It was it was very good. But uh, the call, you know, the, from Ireland was, was very great. So I came back and um, I got fixed up here already. Did you do any drama out there? Yes, I acted with the uh, Melbourne Little Theatre for two years. Well, this is very useful to you, I'm sure. No, it was very, very useful, very enjoyable. Then I went up to the Northern Territory, up to a place called Rum Jungle. Mm -hmm. We were uh, mining uranium up there, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where I made my fortune. You didn't bring any of it back with you, too. Tell us about uh, your business now. Uh, you're a businessman here in Sligo. Do you consider that Sligo is a good town to have a business Oh, in? yes, Sligo's yeah. quite a good town. Sligo's mm -hmm. quite a busy town. We could do uh, with a lot more industry. Um, we could do with um, more um, male employed people. We have a lot of, we have some industry here, but it's mostly female labor, you see, and that's not very good. We could do with a pretty good factory that will employ a few hundred men. I think it's coming, it will come, it's bound to come, it has to.